What's up guys, it's Travis here. Today we're gonna to be talking about my hunting system, my camo system that I'm gonna be using here this year during hunting in the 2022 uh, fall and winter hunting seasons. And we're gonna talk about how I'm gonna use this to my advantage. Uh, so I'm trying out something different this year. Uh, previously I had been using the Under Armour camo system and it was good, it didn't let me down. I actually really, really liked the pattern. Uh, but just some of the things Under Armour has been doing lately, they've been kind of basically putting out less and less camo gear. Almost feels like they're trying to pull out of the hunting and outdoors market. So I decided to go with somebody that's always stood by hunting, uh, but is not going to break the bank. This is kind of a budget system compared to like Sitka or, you know, uh, Numa or some of the other brands out there. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just basically putting together a Cabela's Instinct hunting system for this year. And uh, so we're going to talk about that and... Uh, I'm not sponsored by Cabela's or anything, but this is just what I chose this year because I could find some really good deals on an entire system and be ready to go hunting this fall. So without further ado, guys, let's do further. Before we get really rocking into this video, I just wanted to mention again that I am having a pre-sale on the Apex Predator Outdoors uh, hats here. I've got a multi-cam camo, I've got the OD green, and we also have the uh, brown. I love the brown one as well. It's my other one that I wear a lot. I wear all three of them actually. But we're having a pre-sale on these. If you go to apod.company.site, you can go ahead and pre-order these hats. And uh, basically with that, I'm gonna go ahead and place an order. I'm gonna order all these hats, ship them directly to you guys. And then whenever we get those uh, going, we're gonna do some more after that. I'm gonna use the funds for that pre-sale to just order more of them. So if you wanna buy more, you can do that. So thanks guys for uh, checking that out. And without further ado, let's do further. All right, so first of all, I was gonna talk about the base layer of the system. This is this, well, the first thing that I put on whenever I'm going hunting is this right here. I've got a set of uh, bottoms and tops, and this is the uh, Cabela's. This is just a nice set of really uh, good, fleecy, warm undergarments here. They have a nice fleece inner here, as you can see. Really good pattern, like really good uh, comfort. They slide in under there. And so if I really need something to give me a little extra warmth, because my legs don't often get too cold and I have tons of options for the top layering. So typically I'm just gonna be wearing these underneath uh, my pants, which are the next set up here. So the pants here, I've got the grindstone pants and I've actually got two pair of these. So I have these in a uh, in this uh, True Timber VSX. If what I believe is true, I think this cut the VSX is custom to the uh, Cabela's Instinct line. So it's a unique one. Uh, it's got a lot of rocky stone patterns, which matches really well with where I hunt a majority of the time, which is here in Central Texas. But it's also got some nice greens for the foliage and the black for the shadows. And I just really fell in love with this pattern because I know it's probably the closest one out there that's similar to the. Uh, one that I already have with the Under Armour, except for this one's got a lot more uh, light tans and, and grays in it. Uh, whereas the Under Armour had the forest camo specifically had a lot more green in it. So, but this is okay. It's a good system here. I'm really excited about using this. Uh, talk about these pants. Again, I have these in just a flat gray and I also have them in this, uh, you know, uh, True Timber VSX. You got a rubberized waistband here. With, so the word instinct with a little logo on there goes all around the inside. And that's really Really good at providing a really nice grip so they don't slip down that was one problem i had with my under armor pants was that um, if i was you know standing up and squatting or sitting down and stuff like that or uh, you know once i've been moving around a little bit and that fabric would stretch and then the pants wouldn't fit right if i wore a belt though sometimes it wasn't comfortable as i'm moving and bending and picking things up and whatnot uh, or hiking uphill uh, then it would be a little bit less comfortable if i was wearing a belt so this is a really good system. The fact that it has that kind of pants retention built in. There are no loops uh, built in for, you know, if you had like a, a waist or a, a retainer, what do you call those things? Damn. Uh, the overalls that go over you uh, so there's no loops or anything for the overalls in here but overall they're really good they got a uh, zipper they got five pockets the pockets are nice they're breathable they're kind of a mesh lined but they got a reinforcement on the bottom here uh it's very quiet this is like a uh i guess you consider that just a cotton fabric but it's it's pretty good 
Uh, same thing with the back pockets. Uh, back pockets, same thing. It's got that breathable mesh, so you're not going to be sweating too much uh, in, in your pockets and your pants there. Uh, they got zippered pockets in the back, which are great. Uh, I love how whenever I zip these pockets and unzip them, that that zipper gets completely covered up there. And so it just blends into the rest of the fabric, which is really nice. The zippers are good. They're not the quietest zippers, but I don't really see myself zipping and unzipping my pants a lot, you know, while a deer is within earshot of these things. So uh, overall, the build quality of them is really good. It's got a uh, really well latched on uh, button there. Okay, so you can see it's got a cord fabric there or whatever you call this stuff. It's like a nylon uh, fabric there. And that's gonna hold that button on really securely. So the only complaints I have about these pants, they got four pockets, which is fine. Some people like a cargo pant pocket. Uh, I like to have one pocket there, which is, is really nice. Uh, but I, I don't know, I don't have to have the cargo pockets. The only downside that I really see to these pants is that uh, the pockets in the back, they go low enough. And this is probably just a me problem. I have a shallow butt, I guess you'd say. Uh, but the pockets go low enough to where if I have like a phone in my back pocket that it, uh, it kind of rubs, it hits the back of my leg as I walk. So I like a little bit higher butt pocket that's a little bit shallower personally, uh, almost like a pair of jeans or something like that. Um, and I think it's not a bad, as bad a problem if the pocket itself is a little bit more rigid. You know, if it's pockets a little bit thicker, a little bit more rigid, then you don't have this problem. But the fact that these are so loose, it can move around in there a lot. Like say my phone or whatever's in there can move around a lot. And so it's just hitting me in the back of the leg all the time. So it makes me resort a little bit more to the front pockets or what I usually have on me and where I usually keep my phone is in my bino harness. So I got that as well as a backup. But again, I got these in the gray and the uh, True Timber VSX and uh, great pants, man, very comfortable. And they're great for everyday wear as well. So I got the gray ones. They're warm, but they're not too warm. Uh, fit over the boots really nice. So. Great set of pants there. Going to the first piece on the top here. On the top, I have this right here. This is just a uh, long sleeve shirt. But what's nice about it, it is moisture wicking, okay? It's kind of an athletic fit, which is really good. I really like the fit of that. Nice stretchy material, okay? Stretch is really good. And again, it wicks and absorbs moisture. Cool thing about it too, is they've had enough foresight in it to put different layers of material in there. So you can see everywhere that the VSX camo here is, is a little bit thicker material and it's a little bit more engaged in that sweat wicking. Whereas the gray part under here, like under the bottom of the arm there and in the armpits there is meant to breathe a little bit better. So it's a light, slight bit lighter, kind of a little bit more silky material, uh, but it breathes really well. And this is my main layer that I've been hunting with uh, so far this season. It's been really hot. And again, I hunt here in Texas, obviously, so it's a little bit warmer, uh, but overall it's been really good so far. Okay, so they've got two main technologies in these. One is the, uh, the pants here uh, and the jacket we'll get to in a minute have foremost repel and the foremost sentinel in it. So the sentinel is a scent uh, rejection. So it basically absorbs and, and gets rid of your scent. Um, they don't, I tried looking online, trying to find some kind of basis for what this technology is. And what I really think it is, is I think it's the silver technology. So basically putting like a colloidal or putting a silver particles into the fabric, uh, which helps reduce your scent because it kills bacteria and most of the bacteria or most of the smells that you have in your body while you're hunting come from bacteria. Uh, and so basically this kills the bacteria on there. They have that on their red, red headline stuff as well. And so I'm thinking that they just renamed it uh, specifically for this, but basically that's the sentinel and it has the water repellent stuff as well which is called the foremost repel uh, i have tested that and i'll show some video over here uh, it works great have no problems with it you know getting water beat it up on it in fact i can just show you i've got this bottle of scent killer gold here and i'll spray this and you can see it's just running off this is not saturated by any means my hand inside the pocket completely dry okay so even though these have been washed several times, you can see that it still just beads up and drips off, okay? All right, so next we're gonna talk about a couple of top layers. Uh, I got the hat too, just to complete the look. Uh, 
th this is one of the biggest problems with the system that I've had so far is just that this hat has, and I had this with another hat I had recently too, but inside the hat here, there is like a hard piece of plastic or something right there. And when I slide this on, it literally scraped my forehead. And so I had to go in there and I had to kind of trim it down. It's not like, it's like the plastic threading or something. Listen, you can kind of hear me running my finger on that. And I've had a few hats uh, recently that did this and they were all both Richardson hats. So I'm guessing this is just a Richardson hat or something like it. Uh, but uh, not to defame Richardson, it could be something else. But uh, this hat, like I say, they make a couple other ones. This is one of the cheaper ones. It's like 24 bucks or something like that. They make another one that's got like a headlamp built in that looks a little bit better quality. I might opt for that one if you're looking for that system, for this whole system. Uh, but I got the hat there as well. All right, so next, so whenever I got a little bit cooler weather, but it's not that cool and I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be sitting a lot. I've got this right here and this is the uh, soft shell. I think they call it the Stan Hunter jacket. Okay, so again, I've got the True Timber VSX. Uh, it has a pocket right here in the front, nice quiet zipper. Okay, so I can store things right in the front there. Got a nice big zipper, easy to unzip, zipper there. And you can see on the inside, it's fleece lined and super comfortable, man. This is actually really nice. This is large. Uh, this fit a little bit big. All their jackets I felt felt a, felt a little bit big, but uh, overall it fits well, especially if I'm layering. Uh, but it's got a nice cuff here so I can unzip and zip the cuff. All right, so if I want to, you know, shrink it up around my wrist or something, I can do that. But I usually leave it unzipped while I'm, before I put it on. That way I can get it over my watch and things like that. Okay. Or if I'm wearing a release on the other side, then again, I will leave it unzipped so I can get my release through that hole there. All right. Uh, so... Then it's got pockets down here. So these are not insulated pockets, so they're not gonna do anything to keep your hands extra warm, uh, but they are, uh, once you're like, say you got it up against your body, that fleece is gonna keep your body warm and inside your, your hands will be inside of that. So it works okay. Then on the back here, they got a smart little thing here where they got a zippered piece in the back. So if you have a uh, tether that's coming out of the back, you can actually put your tether through there and make sure that you're tethered safely to a tree moving on here next we got this one is probably my favorite piece of the bunch and this is the super warm puffy and i'll tell you it is really warm it's got a lot of little cool things in there that they thought about uh and it's overall a really good price for a puffy so uh some of the puffies that are out there for some of these other brands i mean they'll run like 400 dollars or something like that um, this one's a lot less than that i got a hell of a deal on it i found it's uh somewhere used online uh, it, although it's still, or sorry, it was labeled as used, but it uh, actually still had the tags on it. So anyways, got a good deal on that. Um, but a really cool parka here, so, or sorry, really cool puffy here. It's got a lot of these little adjustable cinches here that are actually tied down. So you can't just accidentally rip them off or break them off. Uh, it's got cinches over here to adjust the hood. It's got a cinches in the back to adjust the hood as well. You can see right there. This in the back here is not a flat for a safety harness. This is just to cover that little buckle right there. Uh, which has pulls on it as well, which is again, really nice. So I'm gonna put this on here and slide it on. Super, super comfortable jacket, guys. So this is actually, there was the other jacket I bought a large and it was slightly big. I bought a medium here on the puffy uh, and it fits really good because I feel like I'm not gonna with the puffy, I'm gonna have to wear less layers underneath. So I got a little bit smaller jacket to fit a little bit better. <laughs> Again, it's not restrictive. It flexes well. So if like, here's the max flex here. If I go further, it stretches with me. It's not gonna tear. Uh, much better material than a lot of other uh, puffies on the market as well. Like uh, ones from like Columbia and stuff like that. It's got zippered pockets on the side. Again, it's got the same zipper. It's got on a lot of the other things. What's really nice is it's got an adjustable system in here inside the pocket. So I can pull that on the inside of the pocket there and I can adjust the tension of the waistband here and that's on both sides of the jacket there. So pretty cool. I can adjust this here and again, just pull it through. Okay, goes into the pocket so I can adjust it, the waist of the jacket right there. So it's very customizable. Uh, again, just a great jacket guys. Super warm puffy, 
keep you cool, keep you warm in all the cool weather and uh, make sure that uh, you know you're not freezing your butt off folds up nice and neat fairly quiet material as well so if I'm just throwing this in a bag or something when I'm done I can just wrap it all up in the hood like that and there we go that is the Cabela's super warm puffy also if you're interested it does have the foremost repel as well so water repellent built into the jacket all right so i think the final piece here this is the cabela's credence boot and uh so these i actually got on accident from ebay there's a guy that's selling them brand new uh for over half price uh so i, ha I couldn't resist and i actually just put it in my cart and i accidentally did buy it now i thought i was putting it in my cart to save for later to watch it but i actually bought them so i was like hey you know what why not so these have a BF Goodrich. You can see I've been walking around here in this uh, gravel and this uh, granite, and you can see it's it's got all stuck up in there. But what is good is that it's got a BF Goodrich tire tread on there. So I guess BF Goodrich designed the tread on there. Uh, it is a Gore-Tex upper. It is waterproof, as we can tell here. I'll do this again, okay? All right waterproof upper so the leather on this will absorb a little bit of uh water but it has not penetrated the shoe i've been i've actually soaked these things and i'll probably soak them again just to show you uh but it does not penetrate the shoe so the only problem i have with these boots is for just everyday uh deer hunting you know just hiding in a blind here maybe even climbing in a tree i think they're a little bit overkill these are almost like a mountaineering boot and you can see from the tall upper here that it's got a lot of support from an ankle but it's that's something that i need and that's why i was okay with whenever i bought these on accident i was like you know what i'm just gonna run with it because of that specifically because i have uh you know a much more a better better ankle support so i've got really weak joints i've got bad knees that i injured back in the day doing jujitsu and muay thai kickboxing and stuff like that so having a lot of ankle support uh is really good uh and this has a ton of it uh the only downside is is this is a very inflexible boot like it really needs to be broken in so i've been walking in this a couple like three days now and uh yeah it's it's starting to get broken in but for a while there this was almost completely inflexible so more flexible boot is going to be a little bit more of a closer to an everyday wear thing versus a stiffer boot is going to be a lot better for mountaineering because it's going to wear on your feet less or they have two other kinds of boots i can't afford to buy all of the boots and try them all out uh read reviews but so far these are really good they're really warm uh they're not too warm like i just had some regular socks on this morning so just some cotton socks and uh they wouldn't work fine you can see the tongue comes all the way up and attaches way up here so they're basically going to be waterproof up into that point uh and again i've tried it i've tried them whenever they're up like this like i say uh it keeps us nice and warm another thing that's really nice about these is they come in a wide size so this is an 11 wide uh so this they fit nice got a nice toe box so they're more comfortable and uh yeah i really appreciate that they've got a little bit of a nice cupping there to the uh the bottom of the sole which is pretty neat i'm gonna guess that's gonna help in like traction or side hilling and stuff like that uh but yeah bf goodrich uh they got gore-tex in them so pretty good boot man pretty comfortable so far so Anyways, you're going to be seeing more videos uh, with me using this gear here in the near future. Uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, guys, if you all have any questions about it, uh, questions about the fit, questions about the uh, overall durability or water resistance of any of this stuff. So anyways, guys, uh, water repellent, good hunting gear for a really cheap price. And uh, I think just check it out and see uh, if this is something that you'd be interested in, guys. It's a lot cheaper than buying something like Sitka or Numa or things like that. Not that I have anything against those because they're a great gear, uh, but uh, this is an option for those guys that are like me that don't have a ton of money to spend on a new set of camo every year. And so you're looking for something that's good, uh, cheap, uh, fairly cheap comparatively, but not you know something you get from Walmart just to step up in that direction that gives you a good value for your money. So thanks guys for watching. And as always, keep defying the odds. <laughs>